Welcome to the third video in the blocking series. In this video we're going to look at blocking of a garment, a much bigger project. It's not a small block, it's not a motif that you can put into place, so obviously there's a little bit more effort involved. I want you to note some things here. The neckline is not nice and straight, it makes a slight bump. This one is, um, it, it tends to curl. And look at the bottom. The bottom doesn't hang nicely. It just, it's, it's not finished. The crochet is finished, but the project isn't properly finished. We need to get this blocked so that it will sit much nicer. So take a good look at what it looks like on the mannequin now. I'm going to put it on the blocking and then we're going to see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, we've got the little gelée on the blocking mat and I'm now going to pin it. Now, this time I'm going to use normal sewing pins because, like you know, my T-pins have been placed somewhere. I'm also going to use Knit Pros blockers. These ones are very nice to keep your edges straight because they you get wide ones like this that um, has eight pins in it and then you get some small ones as well. And this is very nice to keep an edge straight. So I'm going to use these and normal pins to nicely block this garment so that it will hang better. I've got the garment sprayed out on the, um, on the blocking mat and I'm going to start with the bottom seam. I want the seam nice and straight so I'm going to pin through both layers of the back as well as the front. I know, ow. They're sharp. Just so you know. You see how nicely these work? They're wonderful for blocking shorts. Okay. Ooh, that one I need to fold over, so let's use normal pins here. Uh, let me pin the one side first, one front. You will see that I put a pin in every three or four centimeters, more or less. And it might happen that you pin one area and then when you get around to that area again, you might have to move your pins. And you must continue to do so until you're happy, like this now. I need to move this corner edge a little bit. Right, now we can fold this one over. And I will move that one now to include the other front as well. Let's put pins here at the seam, or the hem rather. Okay. This jacket has quite a bit of a flare because it goes over the hips so it was shaped to um, have a bit of a flare at the bottom. There we go. Nice straight edges. thing I still want to pin down is the neckline. Because this neckline has a slant, I want the slant to be nice and straight. Now this one as well, I am going to 
um, spray and leave it to dry and then we will come back. Now we let it sit until it's dry. Our jacket is dry nearly, but it will be fine. So I'm going to take all the pins out and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, we're going to put it back on the mannequin so that you can see the difference in the way it hangs. Be careful with these blocking pins, they can be very sharp. Let's see if I've got the ball. Okay, there's some more. Alright, let's go and put this on Julie. Uh, my mannequin's name is Julie, and then you can see the difference between previously and now. Look at the difference. The neckline is nice, this little one doesn't curl anymore, and the edges at the bottom is nice and flat. Much better fit, just with a little bit of blocking. Now Julie hasn't got my hips. The moment I put this on, it will widen a little bit like that. And the other one will probably come out. It all depends on who, who wears it. She's, she's a little bit slimmer than I am. Block your garments. It makes for a beautifully professional finish.